my. Bash, bash, bash. Look. Done well to make it so far. That's enough, Dolorun! This ceremony ends here and now. Does it indeed? You mean that you do not share my vision, Roland? A vision of a better world? A pity. I had hoped that you, of all people, would understand. <sighs> Roland! Uh, what did you do to me? <sighs> me? <laughs> Why, nothing at all. You have the Horned One to thank for this. It means to protect you, for if harm comes to either one of us, it comes to the other also. You mean... you and Roland are... Yes, Leander. You see it now. See what others must be shown. Dolorin! You're... I'm... Do you see? We are connected. We are the same. Defeat me, and you defeat yourself. He is correct, I am afraid. There are those in your world whose souls are inextricably linked with the souls of those in this one. The more power he has gained, the stronger his effect on you has become. This proves the connection. But how can this... What does it mean? It means you face a dilemma, boy. You have no choice but to join me, Roland. You know it, deep in your heart. Oh, I have a choice, all right. I always have a choice. I'm a president. A king. And from the day I took my throne, I knew that if it came to it, if it would help my people, I would gladly give my life. No! What? Mm-hmm. Besides, if I can't kill you, you can't kill me either, right? If I die, you die. <laughs> Very true. Which is why, if you will not join me, I must banish you instead to a dimension where you will no longer be a danger to either of us. Of course. I think I see now why I was brought here. Please. Enlighten us. Your country, Allegoria, it was destroyed. And my country was destroyed too. You and I are the same. Two kings, with no kingdoms left to rule. So we were given a chance. One last chance to save our homes. But don't you see? The kingdom the Horn One has given you, it, it's not really the place you once ruled. I'm going to make you see. I'm going to defeat the Horned One and remind you who you really are. Who I really am? You think you know me? You know nothing! Enlighten me.
You will delay my plans no longer! I will prevail! My deepest desire will be fulfilled at last! Die! <laughs> Forward! Is it over?
You're finished, Dalaran. Your plan has failed. He'll never rule the world. Never! Rule the world? You have read too many fairy tales, boy. The world was never my prize. What? It was a beautiful place, my home. A realm of peace and prosperity. I was the king of Allegoria. A young man handed the crown too soon. None loved my realm more than I, but I was conceited, arrogant. Our kingmaker was a being known as Alessandra. In strengthening our bond, I committed the greatest of all sins. I fell in love. And love between king and kingmaker is an offense against the will of the gods. As punishment, she was cursed to spend the rest of her days in the guise of the Horned One and cast along with Allegoria into another dimension. And so, I vowed to bring her back. She and my beloved kingdom. I set out to acquire all the king's bonds of our world, that I might use their combined power to reawaken Alessandra. How did you know that was even possible? The guise of the Horned One, you said. I take it the creature we see is but an outer shell within which Alessandra lies trapped. If so, the strength of the King's Bonds might serve to reach that which lies dormant deep within, to reconnect King and Kingmaker, and free her of her prison. It is as you say. If Alessandra can be revived, Allegoria may yet rise from the ashes. And I shall have regained my beloved and my kingdom both. Now you know what it is I seek. Roland. You would be reunited with your family, with your son. Surely you would join me if such an outcome were your reward. I... Uh, I... He can't! He won't! Not that way! Just because you would do anything to bring a loved one back, it doesn't mean you should. What, what is happening to me? That horrible black stuff comes from the horned one, you know. Dollar and buyers just been m m channeling it like. But it looks like it's finally getting the better of him. That Tory was infected by it from the start. I will restore them. I must. Alessandra! Allegoria! Both shall live again! You'd really do that? You'd destroy whole countries, steal countless souls just to get what you want? You think that's love? Then you don't deserve to love. And you sure as hell don't deserve to be a king. You would defy me. You are me. We want the same thing. You wish to be reunited with those you love, just as I do. No, it's not that simple. My crimes will be more than outweighed by the revival of Allegoria, by the return of all that has been lost. Rise, beloved kingdom! Live again!
Cassandra, my love. You are free at last! Meaning of this, you, you are not my Alisa. But if she is truly lost. What will become of Allegoria? What will become of me? <gasps> no. Everybody all right? I think so. Where are we?
useful.
Alessandra, is it really you? It is, my love. But you did not free me from within the Horned One. Hmm? The Horned One was not born of the wrath of the gods as you had thought. I wanted to be with you. I wanted it so much that I gave up the power of the Kingmaker. What? Once freed, that vast, insatiable power gave rise to a monster. The Horned One. N no! Do you know how Kingmakers are born? They are born when a soul is sacrificed in order that a great power may be tamed. In unbinding my soul, I unleashed that power. By abandoning it, I committed an unforgivable crime. A crime for which I was punished. So you... You have not returned to me? Forgive me, my love. I am that which sealed away the Horned One's power. Only through my sacrifice could the power which poured forth from him be contained. Then, by unleashing him, I have undone what good you wrought. No, my love, for a great evil has left the world. The Horned One is defeated. And so, my role in containing him has come to an end. My soul can be at peace, at long, long last. Thank you for never ceasing to love me. We will meet again, dear heart, not in this world, but somewhere, someday. Goodbye, my love, my daughter, and goodbye. Alyssa, no, not yet. Alyssa! Tolerant. Alessandra is no more. Allegoria will not rise again. All that I have loved is lost. Roland? Tell me. What great wrong did I do to deserve this? Was it in surrendering to love that I erred? Or in accepting a crown of which I was not worthy? You did no wrong. You just did what you could to keep your love for Alessandra alive and save your kingdom. That's life. People do what they can, try to live as best they can. And then the tide of history comes and sweeps them all away. My country was swept away too. I tried to stop it. Tried to prevent the war that would end it all. And so it rolled in. I have an idea. Why don't we make a new allegoria? A what? 
Huh? If it can't be brought back, I mean, we can build a new one instead. A new one? We did it. We built a new kingdom from nothing. A kingdom where everyone could live happily ever after. It was small at first, but it grew and grew, and thanks to its wonderful people, it eventually became a great nation. You can do the same, Dolorin. You truly think this possible? Maybe that's why I was brought here. The country Evan and I built together. It changed things for you, Dolorin. For this whole world. No one needs to be a slave to the past anymore. Now we can look to the future. Evan Petty Whisker Tildrum. You are yet young. But you are a great king indeed. You really think so? I will start afresh. I will build a new kingdom. For the sake of my departed subjects. For the sake of my beloved. Hear, hear! before you today to make a solemn oath in the presence of all our peoples. United we stand as, as one, one single, single land. land. Well, Evan, see you around. Goodbye, Roland.
Evan? Who are you? I think you know. You're King Ferdinand, aren't you? You've been helping me all along. Yes and no. I am Ferdinand. But it's really you who's been helping me. What? Everything I've told you, you told me first. I don't understand. This is going to sound strange, but... I can send my mind through time. It's a gift I've had since I was born. And using it to visit you seemed like the obvious thing to do. I mean, who wouldn't want to find out what his famous father was like as a child? Father? Yes, you are my father, and I am your son. What? I promised that I would live up to your legendary achievements, but before I could do that, I had to see them for myself. The things I said to you, those words of wisdom, they were all yours. But Ferdinand lived long ago. He... <laughs> I'm afraid that was just Bodley's little joke. She's no historian, you see. She's a seer. She didn't tell you what had happened. She told you what was going to happen. About how I would become the first king to unite the whole world. So you did? I mean... You will? Yes. You started it all by uniting the five great realms. But there were plenty of others. Smaller, perhaps, but realms just the same. Each with its own particular problems. Poverty, war, and any number of other things. None of them easy to solve. But solve them you did. One by one by one. And you? Yes. I, I carried on what you started. And in the end, I finished it. I come before you, a true king at last. I, Ferdinand, have brought together the peoples of every nation under the heavens. The great work my beloved father began is finally complete, and the world stands united under a single banner. I hereby swear, in the name of King Evan, to safeguard this hard-won peace for as long as I shall live. And with that, my promise to Nella was fulfilled at long, long last.
We'll be arriving at the World Unification Summit shortly, Mr. President. Thanks. <laughs> you seem happy. <laughs> Not really. We still have a mountain to climb. I can't imagine convincing all the nations of the world to sign up to this will be easy. It's never been done before, I guess, but if you could pull it off, wow. <laughs> oh, it's been done all right. Really? <sighs> sure. In a little country a long, long way from here. Thank you. 